Hello friends, this video we are going to solve house rubber. The problem given an array. Each element represents the money in that house. The construction is you cannot rubber any two adjacent house. So you need to find the maximum maximum money you can rubber. So this problem, for example, we have given the array here. We start from index zero. Each step we have two options. Option one is to rubber that house. If we rubber that house, index one, uh, index zero, we get money one. We get money one. Then we should move to two steps forward. Otherwise, the other option is do not rubber that house. So you get money zero and you can move one step forward move to index one so now we have two sub problem for each problem we're doing the same for index two we rubber that house we get money two we move to index four then another option we do not rubber that house we get money zero then we move to one step forward we got index three so the total money from root to the NIF node you just add up the path for example here one plus two plus seven that's seven you can get so this is the DFS solution here here is DFS we start from one option one we rubber that house we get money at that index then we moving forward two steps forward optional two we, we not rubber so we just move one step forward then we return max maximum value of optional one and optional two again if we look at the recurrent tree here we can find that we are we are repeatedly doing computation for same sub problem here and here so we can using memorizing to reduce time complexity this type of time complexity would be two to the ends so we use memorizing this is a DFS cache version we have a array initialized with minus one we start from index zero if the index reach the end of the array we just return zero otherwise if the cache is not minus one which means we have already know the result so we just return here otherwise we have optional one for optional one we rubber that house that's the money we get then we plus the rest we move forward two step optional two here we just move one step forward then we store the maximum value in here and we return result again this is top down dfs with memorizing almost every such solution can be converted to bottom up bottom up dynamic programming solution here is our 
dynamic programming solution, we just convert the termination condition, termination status of DFS into the initialized status of dynamic programming. So we initialized if there is only one element in the array, we know the money we can get is that element. Otherwise, if we have two, we move in another one, we return the max of those two. Then we start from index of two. Each step, we have two options. Option one, we rubber that house. The money we can get is the value of that element plus two step backward. That's the maximum money we can get from option one. Option two, we do not rubber that house, then which means we can rubber the one step backward. So then f of i equals maximum of those two options. Again, the optional condition are same compared with DFS and the termination status convert to initialized status. That's the bottom up dynamic programming solution. Thanks for watching.